Hello folks. So today I will talk about how you can check Angular version using command line. So it is very simple to check the Angular version and to understand the different versions of Angular. Means what are the patch version, what are the minor version, what are the major version. So I will give you a brief about all those things. So let's start with how you can check the uh, Angular version first. So to create an Angular project in our system, we use Angular CLI. The best way to create a boilerplate that helps to run in the Angular project, checking the Angular version of project is very easy. So here, uh, so first what you need to do, you just need to open the command prompt using this CMD. Then you just need to type this command ng version. Then it will print the whatever the version in my system. So here, as you can see here, so my latest version is 14.1.2. So what it indicates, let me show you. So as you can see here, it is showing the version like that. So what what this 14.1.2 is? So let me tell you all this thing. What are the major version? What are the means? What it means? So. Uh, so you can check this using Illustrator without uh, going into the project. So here it is printed like that screen. So what are the versioning in this? So Angular version number designates the label of changes included by the release. The use of semantic version supports you in understanding the potential significance of updating a new version. So this is uh, what it defines. So it means this major, minor and patch. So these are the updates that we get. So what it indicates. So here as we can see here. So this 14 is the major version. And this one is the minor version. And this patch is a small release. So what this major indicates. So this major indicates. Uh, it indicates the, uh, the importance. Means it indi uh, indicates that it has introduced the new features. And uh, when updating the list, latest major list, you may need to run the commands like update scripts, refactor code, run additional test, and learn new APIs. So when you migrate the version from means from 13 to 14 or 10 to 11, so here uh, firstly you need to commit your all your code. Then you can uh, means then you need to uh, then you need to run the ng update command. So in that they, it will show you which uh, versions you need to update. Then you can update the major versions. Without that, you cannot update to the major versions. And this minor release indicates uh, it includes the smaller features. Minor releases are fully backward compatible. No developer assistant is required during that update. But you can optionally change your apps and libraries to begin using new APIs, features, and abilities added. We have, uh, so they update the PL dependencies in minor version by extending the supported version. But we do not require project to update those dependencies. And what are patch releases? So patch releases are low risk bug fixes. Therefore, no developer is required during the update. Means these two, for these two update minor and patch, you do not need too much work. But for the up, for the major version, you need to check the all dependencies, all the things before updating that. that. So what Angular do? Angular basically uh, release uh, versions every six months, one to three minor releases for each uh, uh, major releases, and uh, uh, patch release and release release build almost every week. So as we know, means in our uh, development, we also do releases like that. This patch release and pre-releases. So this is also same, same work like that. So all of our major uh, supported for 18 months, 6 months of active support during which the code increases, regularly scheduled updates, and 12 months of long-term support during which Angular code team developers release only critical fixes and security work patches. So these are the uh, versions. This is an old video means in that time it only gives the 10 version but currently the latest version is Angular 15 and these versions uh, are no under support. So uh, in, in your development you try to update the version to the latest means in which the maintenance is ongoing. So that will be uh, very helpful to maintain all those things. So this is the basic idea of the uh, Angular versions. Thanks guys for watching.